Today we'll be doing a teardown on the Logitech M720 mouse. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we'll be doing is taking off the cover here and then you'll be able to see the battery along with the dongle. Go ahead and remove these so you just have a little bit more room to work around these areas. So once those are removed, you're gonna see two screws here, one here and one here. Go ahead and unscrew them. After removing the two screws from here, the next step is gonna be to uh, take this uh, ru uh, skate off from the front of the mouse and just come in at it from the side like this. And then once you have a piece of it starting to stick out, all you do is simply you can get your thumb and just slowly peel and you can see there's another screw there. So now we unscrew these two screws. Okay, and then once you have these two removed, there's one more screw and that's gonna be under this sticker here. You can see the final screw is right there. Once the fifth and final screw have been removed, you can now take it apart just like that. You can see that there is a cable connected from the top of the housing of the mouse to the bottom base of the mouse. So in order to remove that, all we need to do is pull one of the sides off carefully. I'd recommend laying the mouse down like this, kind of putting them separate and then putting it down on the uh, your work area here and then just pull it, uh, pulling it off as carefully as possible. I'm gonna go ahead and use these tweezer tools to make the job a little bit easier when uh, trying to grip this uh, cable here because it is a bit tight. You can use your fingers, you should be fine. But so now of these two pieces, if you take a look at the top housing of the mouse in order to take this apart with the buttons and all that. So we're gonna unscrew the black ones here first and then we're gonna move on to the silver ones. Once the black screws are taken off, you're going to be able to start popping things off like these buttons. So you can see this just gets removed. And in order to remove the center button along with the right clicker, we're going to have to unscrew the silver. And once everything is unscrewed here, you can see this little center see-through stick does come off and then you can see this part does come off now as well which is where the side buttons of the mouse were uh, previously located and once you remove the side buttons there's going to be one more screw exposed which will take off the main pointer clicker now in order to remove the side buttons from the circuit board here we're just going to have to unscrew two little screws here you can see we have them unscrewed it just comes right off just like that very easy and then it, we're not going to do this step but if you want you could remove the chip from this plastic piece but there's really no point in that unless you're replacing it but that is just removed with these two little screws here. Now let's move on to the base of the mouse. There's just a few screws on here that you need to unscrew and the main circuit board here should be able to come off. So you're gonna have to remove a pin first to remove the scroll wheel. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this tool here to do that. So if I come at it from an angle, you could see the tool, the, uh, pin has been pulled out right there. Once the pin is removed, the scroll wheel should be able to just come right off. And once the scroll wheel is off, you just unscrew the screws from the top. There should be four of them total. And then that should be able to remove the circuit board from that bottom housing of the mouse. And once everything is unscrewed, gently just pull everything up don't do anything too rash there is going to be a screw when you're trying to remove the top part but the side is stuck on there there's going to be a screw right there that you have to unscrew in order to remove the entire circuit board and then once you remove that final screw and just like that, the circuit board is now dismounted. And this is the Logitech M720 
completely torn down. It's a bit more of a difficult teardown to do if you don't know what you're doing because there's a lot of parts that work together and you have to unscrew them in certain orders. But other than that, if you watch this video, follow along, you should be able to do it fairly easily. And if you're looking for tools to help you tear down this mouse, be sure to check out the link down in the description below to check out this electric screwdriver set. And if this video was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you left a like button. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.